Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. This saying Christians have used to greet one another for hundreds of years, not just as a statement of ritual, but as a statement of belief. God the Father sent His only Son, Jesus, to die for the sins of the world, and then after three days He rose again. This is something that we have believed. This is something that we have treasured and experienced ourselves. Years ago, I did a children's sermon for the church I was serving, and I invited all the children to come up to the front of the church, and they gathered it around, and, and I brought out a big basket of eggs, and, and they were the little plastic eggs which you put candy in, and so I gave them all out to the kids, and I began to talk about the death of Jesus and his resurrection. And at some point during the little sermon, I asked them to open their eggs, and <laughs> guess what? I didn't put anything in it. Well, they were utterly disappointed. Their feelings, you could just see it on their expressions. They were disappointed that they weren't gonna get anything. And I began to explain that what God did for us with Jesus rising from the dead, that the tomb was empty, that there shouldn't be anything in the egg. But it's so much bigger that God is bigger than just an empty tomb. And I explained how God loved them and how he had a plan for them, and how he wanted them because of Jesus' death and resurrection to have life everlasting. Well, at the end of the children's sermon, I brought out a basket with these big candy bars and they went away very happy and very blessed. Well, I don't know where you are this morning in your faith journey, but God desires for, to have a relationship with you. He sent his only son, Jesus, into the world and he died a gruesome death on the cross for our sins. And he was raised from the dead on the third day so that we might have eternal life. And it's so much bigger than just the event. He wants you to be raised from the dead. He wants you to have eternal life as well. As the Apostle Paul said in his letter to the Romans, chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by His grace as a gift, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a propitiation by His blood, to be received by faith. He says here, all have sinned. You and I, everyone has sinned. We've all messed up. But God demonstrates His love for us that He sent Jesus to be the redemption for our sins. But he says here it comes by faith. It's something we have to believe. It's something we have to bring to him with our heart. So I wanna invite you this morning, on this Easter morning, to renew your relationship with God by faith. Come to him and allow him to come to you. For he loves you and he cares for you and he wants to forgive your sin and he wants you to have eternal life. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. High King of heaven, my victory won. May I reach heaven's joys, O bright heaven's sun. Heart of my own heart, whatever be I'll still be my vision, O oh ruler of all. Still be 